Hi, I'm Jason. This is Technique of the Week. Uh, so glad you joined us this week. Uh, today on this episode, we're going to be showing you we have this floor uh, troweled out. We've already got our first coat of regular trowel mix down, and now we've taped out a cool uh, diagonal pattern that we're going to be using. And today's technique, we're going to be showing you how to do a skip trowel a technique uh, that, that we use with our trowel to kind of create a, a more uh, three-dimensional look. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. So this floor that we're doing in here, this is our offices at DC Product where we make the, the DecoCrete products that you guys use. And we're putting in some offices here in this building, so we're just renovating the floors. Um, this particular uh, floor, we actually went over top of some tiles that, and you can kind of see them at, at certain spots, like over here, you can see uh, tile spots that, that you're kind of showing through a little bit, but uh, this is gonna cover all that up and we're gonna get a cool looking floor. So in order to do the skip trowel, um, done in a lot of ways where, you know, you dip the trowel in the actual bucket uh, to put it on. Today, we're gonna be trying something a little bit different that, uh, that honestly I've not tried before, but I think it's gonna work pretty good. Um, we're gonna take a furniture dolly. <clears throat> it's a regular old furniture dolly. And this is just a piece of scrap melamine we had laying around. And we're gonna uh, use a bucket scoop and actually put the material on there so it's easier to dip, dip out of and it's right there at the floor so you don't have to try to reach inside of a bucket and drag a bucket around with you. So to do this, we got our little uh, mud board set up here, right here, we, you know, on the, on the furniture dolly, which is a new technique. You know, if you, uh, this is my first time doing this, but it just seemed like it would work because I always get tired when I'm doing these things of sticking my hand in the bucket and then you got to try to, you know, move the bucket with you and stuff. So, so this is going to hopefully be a lot easier. But to do the skip trowel, what I, what I do is just dip your trowel in the, in the material, get some on there, flip it over like this. Then I'm going to come out here. I like to put it down like that and then just kind of take it and put some different spots like, like that. You can kind of pull when you do this too. If you, if you have a bigger pile, you can pull off of the, off those piles too, to kind of help spread it, spread it out. You just want to move your trial in, in different directions and try not to get, you know, any particular pattern happening when you're doing it. Um, what we're going to do then after, after we're done with this coat, we're going to come in with it with another coat and get another color going. And then we're gonna take uh, our metallic epoxies and pull a tight metallic epoxy coat over top of it, which will then fill in all the remaining low spots. So this color here is the base coat. You, you, you won't even see that when the whole process is done or you'll see very little of it. The only place that you'll see it is when we pull our tape joints up and that'll be the, the joint coat. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing a skip trial, if you got multiple people working on it, so uh, Jeff, Rod, and myself, we're all trialing. So what we're gonna do periodically is we're all gonna do this a little bit differently, how we trial the, the stuff down. So what we're gonna do is me and Jeff, like when we get so far, we're just gonna switch spots. And then he's gonna come over here and I'm gonna go here. That way you don't start to see a pattern of who is where. Well, that's it for this week's Technique of the Week. Hey, thanks so much for joining us, man. We appreciate every single one of you guys that watch Watch these videos, it means a lot to me, it means a lot to, to everybody you know, at our company. And uh, please, if, it, if you can, go and hit the uh, subscribe button and, and ring the bell. Uh, we'd appreciate that. Leave a comment. Uh, we, we do our best to try to answer every comment. So uh, do that and uh, thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.